a big step forward in COVID-19 treatment. One Blood just became the first blood center to get full FDA approval to give plasma, certain plasma from people who recovered from COVID-19 to those with COVID who are also immunocompromised. I spoke with a professor who worked on this research and One Blood to learn how this will impact people right here in the Tampa Bay area. This license is uh, something new and very important, especially for the 10 million people in the United States who are immunosuppressed. I spoke with the chief medical officer of One Blood, Dr. Rita Reich. She tells me early in the pandemic, they were using convalescent plasma as treatment under an emergency use authorization. And now, five years later, they have enough data for that full FDA approval. This plasma is collected from persons who have had COVID, and they have recovered and they're now healthy and meet all blood donor criteria, but they have a very high level of antibodies against COVID in their plasma. And when we give that plasma to the person who is immunosuppressed, uh, they receive the same or at least similar protection against the virus that the healthy donor has developed. Dr. David Sullivan is a professor and researcher at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. He's been studying this for years. I asked him how this will directly impact people with compromised immune systems. A lot of them are fearful of still resuming their normal pre-COVID lives. I mean, they can't be completely worry-free, but I think it does lessen the worries knowing that they have an antibody therapy to possibly combine with drug therapy so that if they get it, they don't have to be so fearful for their lives. You know, One Blood's been actively involved in this since the early part of the uh, pandemic. We gave our first unit of emergency use CCP in April of 2020. So to be the um, last person in the relay race that takes the baton across the finish line and gets the license is very gratifying for us. And if you'd like more information about this treatment, I put a link for you on our website, abcactionnews.com.